If you love facts, you're in the right place. They'll make you go. Put a smile on your face with Aunt TV and her fantastic crew. They are packed with facts. Gonna bring those facts to you. Like the biggest, the smallest, the shortest, the tallest, the fastest, the slowest, the highest, the lowest. Oh, leave it to me. Ready for facts that begin with W. Did you know the Great Wall of China is the longest structure ever built by humans? It stretches over 21,000 kilometers, crossing mountains, grasslands, and even deserts. The Great Wall of China is so long it could wrap halfway around the Earth. It's a fact. Here's a wild fact. On an island near Dublin, wallabies are roaming free. Now, wallabies are like mini kangaroos and are usually found in Australia. But around 60 years ago, a few were brought to Lambay Island in Dublin Bay. Now there are hundreds of them hopping around the island. Do you know what the wood frog does? During the cold winters in Alaska and Canada where it lives, the wood frog's heart stops beating, its blood stops flowing, and it takes a long frozen nap until spring. Then, when the warm weather returns, the wood frog thaws out and jumps back to life as if nothing happened. What a fantastic frog! Auntie Bee's fantastic frog! With facts! Yay! Did you know that bowhead whales can live for over 200 years? That's longer than any other mammal. It's a fact. The Saka World Cup was once stolen in London, but found by a dog called Pickles, who became very famous. I've got a W joke. What did a car wheel say after a long trip? We're tired out. <laughs> Fantastic facts, yeah! Fantastic animals! Meet the wombat. It has the most fantastic poo. Wombats live in Australia and love to munch on plants. Lots of plants. And when they poo, it comes out in the shape of a cube. That's right, a cube, the shape with six sides. You see, a wombat's food takes an extra long time to travel through its body. All the goodness is squeezed and squeezed and squeezed out until plop, poo cubes. In fact, a wombat can poop a hundred cubes in a day. Now that is fact-tastic. Auntie fantastic facts. Did you know there's a way to find out how old a tree is? You can do it by counting its rings. Would you believe it? Would? Did you get it? Would! <laughs> it's a fact. How about we take a closer look? Right so! Leave it to me! I'm Tiny Auntie B. That's better. The lighter wood here is when the tree grew quickly in the spring, and the darker wood is when it grew more slowly in the autumn. A light ring and a dark ring together is one year of growing. So, by counting these rings, you can work out the age of the tree. This one was 80 years old. What's that? What age is the oldest tree in Ireland? The oldest tree in Ireland is thought to be this one. It's about 800 years old. It lives in County Kildare and it's called Silken Thomas. Apparently, it got its name because a fella called Thomas sat underneath it playing the lute.
Now don't tell Silk and Thomas, but the oldest tree in the world is way older. It's about 5,000 years old. That's older than the pyramids. What a tremendous fact. <sighs> Auntie B's fantastic facts, yeah! Kids with facts. Yay! Did you know in Japan, they grow square watermelons, but they're not for eating, they're just for decoration. The modern toothbrush was invented by a man called William Addis over 200 years ago, when he was in prison. William's idea was to use leftover bone from his dinner and bristles from a pig. Hey, Auntie B, I've got a fact about a kid called William who also invented something with old stuff, and it's a great story. Sounds fantastic, Harvey. Let's hear it. William Cam Quamba lived on a farm with his family, but they had a problem. There was no electricity. So how could they see in the dark? They used oil lamps. Oil lamps are very smelly. And unreliable. Also, during dry weather, the family had no way of pumping water to their fields. So William started reading books about machines that can make energy and then started collecting old stuff to make a machine of his own. What sort of old stuff? Stuff like an old bicycle, rusty fan. He even made handles for his tools from old vegetables. Like old carrots? Or broccoli? Or tomatoes? Actually, did you know people once believed tomatoes were poisonous? They even called them poison apples. It's a fact. No, William used old corn cobs. Genius. These would make very handy handles. Eventually, William's machine was ready. Was it a flying machine? No. Was it a toy machine? No. Remember, the problem was they would no power. It was a wind turbine and it powered his house. Yay! Next, William made a windmill that pumped water to the fields. What a great story. So great they made a movie about William. Did they call it How to Make Electricity Using an Old Bicycle and Other Leftover Things? No, it's called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. That's a great name for a powerful story. And a true story, Auntie B. Hey, Auntie B, what about one final fantastic fact to finish the show? Of course. Auntie B's fantastic facts. Woo! Finally, did you know wolves have an incredible sense of smell? They do. In fact, it's about 100 times better than ours. This super smelling skill makes wolves fantastic hunters. And one of the things wolves are great at smelling is we. The fact is, wolves use we to communicate with each other by weeing in different places they've been. Like, if they've eaten all the food somewhere, they have a wee to tell other wolves not to bother looking for food in that spot. I think I'd just leave a wee note. I'm Auntie B. It's time to leave you, B. But see you soon for more fantastic facts.